Or the Alex Jones on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at InfoWarsLife.com. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and getting the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. We are on the march. The empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. Now, we've been talking about how collapsing the borders is a deliberate tactic to collapse America. Not only the American economy, but everything about America. We've sent InfoWars reporters down to the border, and Alex Jones has put together this report to tie it all together. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached a historic crossroads. The globalists are collapsing our republic right now in front of our very eyes. They are destroying national sovereignty to bring us into the North American Union. Crony capitalists that have created the planetary corporate system that we know as the New World Order have been very open about the fact that they want a homogenized, dumbed-down poor global population that can be exploited for their labor and who will be very pliable in the social engineers' hands. And we have seen illegal aliens in the last 25 years or so pumped into this country, most of them legalized. Now they want to legalize between 20 and 30 million that are left, and Obama in the last few years has stopped deportations, has given awards to illegal aliens' children, that are here illegally to create a giant flood, to accelerate uh, the deluge that was already there. And that has now happened. We sent our reporters, Jakari Jackson and others, down to the Texas border last week 
And what they discovered was even worse than what libertarian and constitutional media was reporting. Dinosaur media is saying, oh, America's evil. We should have totally open borders and give everyone free welfare. And you're hateful and racist if you don't take the immigrants in. And Obama not having deportations has nothing to do with the increased surge in illegals from Latin America and other parts of the world pouring across. Conservative media said, gee, it's terrible. Obama is encouraging it. What are we going to do? We better pass amnesty to stop it, which will only encourage it. Real media, media that's been absolutely on target, like Infowars.com, DrudgeReport.com, and WorldNetDaily.com, have been reporting on the fact that it's a premeditated plan to implode the borders, swamp the western states so bad that the feds come in in an emergency uh, and basically use this as a false flag crisis to bring in even more levels of control and force the passage of the Immigration Reform Act that supposedly gives them a legal way into the country when they're already being legalized by fiat. It'd be like if your boat had a leak in it, shooting more holes in the bottom of the boat and calling out a solution to the leak you have. It's absolutely insane how they promote uh, this level of nation-ending garbage. And this is the end of the country. Mexico, Guatemala, and other Central and South American nations uh, south of Southern North America, where Mexico resides, are in a free fall position. Crime rates have exploded across the Caribbean, not just Latin America, under the global depression. And America is like a lifeboat. As bad as we are economically, if we take on more unskilled workers and women with three or four children and no husband who go directly on welfare, this country will go bankrupt by design. But that is the Democratic Party's own plan from the 1960s. Cloward and Piven, the sociologist, a plan to use the welfare system to bankrupt the country and then bring in total socialism as a solution. We know socialism and communism don't work for the average person. It does make the political class the new royalty, and that's why they've been promoting it with the offshore crony capitalists who are deeply in bed with them because the crony capitalists have written the laws to make themselves largely exempt from the socialism, from the collectivism, from the taxes, and the regulation. Like France's socialist party on record that pays almost no taxes and have been caught with giant Swiss bank accounts while making the general middle class have a 101% tax in 2013 and 14 to bankrupt them, the socialist class is tax exempt in the political area. Again, this is the key to the control system. So I wanted to take all the reports they filed last week and the reports that the uh, John Bowne and others when they got back gave us some of which haven't even been seen yet on the nightly news, and condense it all into one big master report so you can understand uh, just exactly what's happening. Because we didn't know how bad it was. As much as Infowars.com knew, as much as I understood about this takeover plan, I didn't realize that the Border Patrol lets the buses come in in Brownsville, McAllen, and other areas. And then once they get here, they give them vouchers to go wherever they want in the United States where the illegal aliens say they've got family. And it's not just children and teenagers, it's mothers and it's fathers. It is the literal destitute to be attached to the government taxpayer funded system as the veterans don't get treatment, as death panels are set up, as old people are being euthanized, as the pension funds are being raided, as beef prices and other commodities are increasing because of dollar devaluation, the collapsing system in Mexico is the battering ram to bring in all the other poor Latin Americans and literally implode this country. We are seeing total treason unfold and take place right now in front of us. Now, we're going to get into all the video evidence of this with Jakari Jackson narrating here in just a moment and his special report. But first off, let's look at what we learned, thanks to our reporters going to the borders, that has now forced the mainstream media to cover this. Days after we broke this news last week, you would see it on Fox and CNN. 
in part thanks to DrudgeReport.com picking up our articles. By last Wednesday, we had caught the Border Patrol red-handed and had the emergency manager head of McAllen admit that 90 plus percent of the illegals getting off the buses had been given, again, vouchers and tickets and authorization illegally, violates federal law by the Border Patrol under Obama's orders to be sent into the interior wherever they wanted to go. Unprecedented. I can't get a free ticket from Austin down to McAllen, but they can get one thousands of miles to Chicago, Illinois. After that broke, we were able to talk to a ice whistleblower who, and that's coming up, who confirmed that they're bringing in tuberculosis, smallpox, chickenpox, you name it, an absolute disaster. And then MS-13 is pouring in and more and more Border Patrol is now just resigning in disgust over all of this because they realize now that their job is to, quote, make formula, heat formula and change diapers of the illegal aliens and act as butlers as the illegals complain uh, that the HEB food store food is not gourmet enough. Uh, continuing uh, in the article that went viral, Paul Watson of InfoWars.com discovered on the federal government's own website that indeed there is a purchase order out back from January showing this was premeditated to help bring the illegal aliens in to the country and deploy them around the nation. And there is that particular uh, document. You can link through at Infowars.com uh, in this report. DHS to pay for illegal immigrants to be escorted into the U.S. And it breaks down here with a link to the federal government's own uh, public website, FedBizOps, where you can bid on carrying out this contract. So huge news on that front. We also documented that evangelical, Catholic, uh, and Protestant churches uh, getting government state uh, funding through the um, church initiatives that Bush launched, faith-based initiative, they're being paid to pick up the illegals where the Border Patrol leaves off uh, once their buses arrive and to ship them to other facilities and to get them their driver's license and voter registration cards to begin voting uh, to pass gun control and even further open borders. So this is the political end uh, of liberty in this country, bringing in populations that are being made dependent from the very beginning. And again, there's that story from PrisonPlanet.com, establishment church groups aiding illegal immigrant invasion of the United States. And the establishment will not stop there if they are allowed to do this. The sky is the limit. Hillary Clinton said last week, so did Obama, that we need Australian style gun bans and that uh, gun owners are terrorizing America and that our ideas, uh, our rights themselves are terrorism. Now I want to go to this report, again, filed by our great reporter, Shikari Jackson, John Bound, Adon Salazar, writing for Infowars.com, and Joe Jennings. And then we will return back to the Infowars radio show today, being hosted by our very own David Knight. I'm Alex Jones, coming to you from the new Infowars.com television studios. Again, here is the special report. Please get this report out to your friends and family. This is the end of this country being replaced by total squalor and tyranny under the North American Union if we don't speak up and say no now. With daily reports of illegal immigrants crossing into the United States, InfoWars headed to South Texas to investigate. In McAllen, Texas, we found that church groups were working with the city of McAllen to transport and house illegal immigrants who had been recently released by the Border Patrol. Many immigrants were fleeing countries that could be considered failed states. Now, as you can see behind me, there's a van that's ready to transport some children. I'm not sure if they're going to a military base. I'm not sure if they're going to another church facility. But as you recall, our reporters went to San Antonio, Texas, and encountered some children at a base there. The representatives we talked to did stress that the illegals they were housing had orders to appear in court for entering the country illegally. We spoke to the emergency manager in McAllen, who told us he had reason to believe that Border Patrol was providing at least some of the Central American immigrants with travel accommodations. 
The only ones that you'll see here are family units mm -hmm. that are like a mom and a couple of kids that they have determined don't pose any sort of security risk and right. don't have a criminal background and they've got relatives.